seeker of simplicity, welcome to our journey towards minimalism. Is the clamor of clutter dragging you down? Does the excess of the everyday overwhelm you? If so, you've come to the right place. Today, we dive into the art of minimalist living. Picture this, a home where each item speaks of purpose and serenity, where clutter is a myth and or the only truth. This is the essence of minimalism, a lifestyle of choosing value over volume. However, minimalism often suffers from misinterpretation. It's not about living in scarcity, but about finding abundance in less, more time, more peace, more satisfaction. It's an invitation to align your life with your true values. Join us on this enlightening journey as we shed the unnecessary, embrace the valuable, and discover the real essence of minimalist living. Let's redefine our spaces, our lives, and learn that less truly can be more. Chapter one, understanding minimalism. Beneath the surface of the hustle and bustle lies the potent and tranquil philosophy of minimalism. This approach, a mantra of mindful possession, calls to those weary of the weight of excess, offering a refuge in its doctrine of less in its purest form, minimalism isn't merely about discarding things. It's a symphony composed of life's meaningful notes where every item sings in harmony with our values and aspirations. The excess noise, the unnecessary, the distractions, they all fade away leaving only the rhythm that truly matters. A common misstep is perceiving minimalism as an austere lifestyle, a barren landscape devoid of joy and comfort. Yet, minimalism is not about renouncing the world, but about embracing it more deeply. It's an open door to a room where the superfluous bows to the significant and the superficial yields to the substantial. Minimalism is not a destination. It's a journey. It's an exploration of our lives, scrutinizing the needful from the needful from the needless, the cherished from the trivial. It's a call to savor the extraordinary and the ordinary, a celebration of the small moments that create the melody of our existence. And so, minimalism stands as a lighthouse in the tempest of consumption, a steady beacon guiding us toward a life of intention. By illuminating what truly matters, it frees us from the fetters of superfluity and allows us to dance to the beat of our own undiluted lives. As we venture into the heart of minimalism, remember, this is not about shedding all you own, but about owning all that truly adds value to your life. The goal isn't to own as little as possible, but to ensure that everything you do own serves a purpose, adds joy, and aligns with the person you aspire to be. Chapter 2. The Minimalist Mindset Think of minimalism as a seed. In order for it to grow and flourish, it must be planted in the fertile soil of the right mindset. Our journey today ushers us into the heart of that mindset, a serene sanctuary where clutter and chaos are mere whispers against the robust voice of intentionality. Amidst the clamor of daily life, the minimalist mindset stands as a tranquil oasis. It's an invitation to quell the storm of constant desire and instead savor the sweetness of fulfillment in the present moment. This is the foundation of our minimalist journey, a conscious decision to shift our perspective from excess to essential. Yet, the minimalist mindset transcends the confines of physical possessions. It is not bound by the number of items in your closet or the decor on your walls. Instead, it takes flight in the spacious skies of life, experiences, relationships, and personal growth. It challenges us to scrutinize our commitments to ensure that every activity we partake in, every relationship we nurture, aligns with our truest self Transitioning to a minimalist mindset can feel like navigating an unfamiliar landscape. But remember, this is not a path of deprivation. Instead, it is a journey towards liberation, freedom from the chains of unchecked consumption, the tyranny of the unnecessary, and the weight of the superfluous. As we adopt this mindset, we find that our lives begin to resonate with a newfound harmony. The minimalist mindset isn't just about decluttering our homes. It's about decluttering our lives. It's about carving out spaces of calm in our minds, our hearts, and our souls, creating an ambience where peace and purpose prevail. So brace yourself for this enlightening journey into the minimalist mindset, a mindset that focuses less on having and more on being. Chapter three, how to start your minimalist journey. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Like an artist before a blank canvas, you stand at the precipice of an inspiring journey. Embarking on this minimalist voyage requires courage and commitment, but fret not, for the rewards are boundless. Let's take the first steps together, shall we? Our adventure commences with a task as essential as it is liberating, decluttering. It's akin to an artist removing unnecessary strokes from a masterpiece. Survey your surroundings, examine each item. Does it serve a purpose? Does it spark joy? If the answer to both is, uh, no, it's time for it to find a new home. This process might seem daunting, even overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be conquered in a day. Approach it as you would a long journey, step by step. You could even consider adopting renowned techniques like the KonMari method, turning the task into a transformative, joy-filled experience. Once the clutter has bid adieu, it's time to reflect on the remaining items. Each object in your newly simplified space should resonate with your values and aspirations. 
As the renowned William Morris once said, have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. Your environment is a reflection of your inner state, so let it reflect the calm, purposeful individual you are becoming. Now, the stage is set for the art of organization. Arrange your belongings with intention and mindfulness, ensuring that every item has a designated home. This is not merely a matter of aesthetics, but functionality. A harmonious, organized space is conducive to a harmonious, organized space is conducive to a harmonious, organized mind. These practical steps are merely the starting point. Remember, minimalism isn't a one-time exercise. It's an ongoing journey, a commitment to living intentionally, to continuously evaluating your choices, and to cultivating an environment, physical and mental, that radiates tranquility and purpose. So take the leap, begin your minimalist journey, discover the joy of less, the peace of simplicity and the harmony of a life lived with intention. Chapter four, minimalism beyond physical space. As we journey further into the heart of minimalism, we transcend the tangible, the physical. Our path now guides us into realms unseen, yet equally significant. Yes, we talk about minimalism in our digital world, our relationships and our choices. Swiping through the vast digital cosmos, we often find ourselves caught in a web of overstimulation. Our inboxes overflow with unread emails, our screens blink with incessant notifications, and our minds reel from the onslaught of information. Embracing minimalism here involves decluttering your digital domain, unsubscribe from unwanted newsletters, mute non-essential notifications, organize your files and apps. By fostering digital minimalism, you invite peace and efficiency into your virtual world. Now, turn your gaze inward to your personal relationships. Are they fulfilling meaningful or do they pull you into a vortex of negativity and drain your energy? Minimalism calls for us to invest our time and energy into relationships that enrich our lives, that resonate with our core values, say no to toxic connections, and yes to bonds that spark joy, offer support, and promote growth. Finally, minimalism challenges us to evaluate our consumer choices. In a world that constantly peddles more, it can be difficult to resist the siren song of consumerism. Yet minimalism encourages conscious consumerism, buying with intention, choosing quality over quantity, and understanding that we vote with our dollars for the kind of world we want to live in. As we tread this path of minimalism beyond the physical, we begin to realize that minimalism is not just about what we own, but how we live. It's about crafting a life of intention, a life that aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. And in doing so, we create a harmony that resonates not just in our homes, but in our hearts. Chapter five, challenges in maintaining a minimalist lifestyle. Akin to the waves carving the shore, crafting a minimalist lifestyle can feel like a monumental task filled with trials and tribulations. But don't be disheartened, for the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and every step is a stride towards personal freedom. One common hurdle on this path is the emotional attachment we form with our possessions. They're not merely objects, but keepers of memories, guardians of our past. Letting go can feel like parting with a piece of yourself. Remember though, that while objects may hold memories, they aren't the memories themselves. You carry your past within you, not within your belongings. Then there's the mighty current of societal norms and expectations urging us to own more, to want more. Resisting this tide can seem like an uphill battle. However, embracing minimalism is about aligning your life with your values, not societal dictation. Let your actions echo your belief in living intentionally and let your courage inspire others to question the status quo. Moreover, the minimalist journey isn't a straight road. There will be moments of setback, of stumbling. Yet these are not signs of failure, but opportunities for growth and learning. Remember, minimalism is not a race to have the least. It's about evolving, refining, and continuously aligning your environment with your values. And finally, don't overlook the possibility of falling into the trap of minimalist perfectionism. Minimalism is not about achieving a picture-perfect catalog-ready home, but about creating a space and lifestyle that nurtures your peace and contentment. Embracing a minimalist lifestyle is a journey of self-discovery, an intimate dance with simplicity. Its challenges are but stepping stones, shaping you into a more conscious, mindful, and fulfilled individual. Remember, every challenge is a teacher, every obstacle an opportunity to grow. Chapter six, tips and tricks for staying minimalist. Firstly, embrace the one in, one out rule. When a new item earns a place in your life, bid farewell to another. This practice keeps clutter at bay, maintains balance, and ensures mindful consumption. Secondly, invest in versatile, high quality items that serve multiple purposes. This approach not only reduces the quantity of possessions, but enhances your appreciation for the items you do own. Remember, quality trumps quantity in the minimalist dance. Next, consider regular decluttering days. These are not punitive exercises, but rather celebratory rituals of liberation from the unnecessary. It's your time to reassess, to recount, to reassess, to recalibrate, and to ensure your space continues to reflect your evolving journey. Additionally, cultivate mindfulness. Be fully present in your actions, choices, and consumption. As you brew your morning coffee or select your outfit for the day, savor the process, appreciate the items that facilitate these rituals. This practice deepens your connection with your possessions and your environment. 
Furthermore, remember that minimalism extends beyond the physical realm. Continually evaluate your digital spaces, relationships, and commitments. Are they still serving you? Are they still bringing you joy? If not, it's time for them to take their exit. Lastly, be patient with yourself. The transition to minimalism isn't a sprint. It's a marathon, a journey of self-discovery, a personal growth. There will be obstacles, there may be setbacks, but remember, every step you take is a step towards a life of intention and peace. With these tools in hand, you're well-equipped to keep the melody of minimalism playing in your life. So dance on, embracing the beauty of less, the freedom of simplicity, and the harmony of intentionality. As you continue your journey, remember that minimalism isn't about achieving an aesthetic or adhering to a rigid set of rules. It's a personal, evolving journey towards a life that resonates with your values, your passion, and your dreams. It's about living more intentionally, more mindfully, every single day.